Good morning, fancakes and champions alike. My name is Sean. I'm coming to you live from the safe, isolated confines of Codename Entertainment Streaming Studio in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, with me today is, and forever is my best friend, Lee, who also has a special guest standing by. Hello, forever best friend, Sean, and I'm coming to you live from the pits of Avernus, Phoenix, Arizona. It's hot. It's hot. It's very hot. And we even had rain, which just made it humid later. Oh. And special guest, he's in the background. He'll pop in a couple of times. And if you ever have any questions for him, he'll uh, he'll be available. But Hank, owner of Dank Cakes, owner of also one of my best friends ever, Gustafson. Hank. Boop, yeah. boop, 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 boop. Okay. I'm here with my good friend Lee. This is the first time I've seen Lee in 16 probably 18 months yeah it's been it's been a while <laughs> it's, it's been, been a, while. it's been a while yeah but yeah if, if you guys have any questions for like dan cakes related i'm in the background yeah if you typing want, away on my email if you want to know about pancake art and pancake art mm -hmm. uh accessories thanks here yeah okay so here's the thing about this week's art stuff popped up uh you know, in game and based on my travels and things like that, I felt so bad. I was like, oh my gosh, I want to pancake those. But C and E, Idol Champions, they came with it and all of my art this week are the things I wish I could have done. <laughs> it's about to get real red panda up in this. <laughs> about to get real red panda, yeah. Uh yeah. So we're back. Oh, I'm so it feels so good to be back. Uh, huge, huge love and huge shout out to Trev to Triavor uh, for taking over from me last week, where I had the most debilitating headache I have ever had in my life. Uh, so I'm really glad that in that super quick turnaround, that uh, Trevor could, could step up to the plate and sit in the seat for a little bit and keep it warm. So thanks, Trevor. Love you. The panic attack I would have had if um, if we weren't that really rare like hour later time because when you messaged me about having a bad uh headache yeah um if it were like this week that that happened you would have told me about it um when i already would have needed to start mixing batter oh, yes yeah, so that's that's what i tried to do uh, last uh, last week was uh I was like, the moment i woke up i think i woke up at like 7 7 30 ish and i was like the moment i i, I, I my head was like Boom! I was like, I got, to, I got a message Lee. Like the first thing was like, message Lee. Hey, dude. <laughs> like this is what's going on. <laughs> like heads up, don't make batter yet. I tr I messaged Trevor, <laughs> Triavor. Triavor. Like, hey man, you up? And I, I didn't, I wasn't there for like his immediate response. And he's like, uh, yeah. And then after like I guess a few minutes, he's all, was this on purpose? And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, so here's the deal. Yeah. And uh, he stepped up in a big way. He did. Would have been real weird if, like, our two days of streaming minus two hours, because, uh-oh. Yeah, that's, I was, I was worried about that, too. So I'm, I'm glad that we got it all fixed up. And we're going to make plans for uh, so it doesn't happen again. So if, some, if someone does need to take over a show, it's a bit more easily accessible rather than just, like, panic, fuck everything, send all this stuff over. So. Yeah, I'm going to train... Uh, Sasha and the pancake art. Yeah, that sounds like a good. That sounds like a good plan. Sasha, you in? Sasha, you got it. You got it. You good? Sasha. <laughs> I thank you everybody for the kind words, saying that uh, I'm glad I'm glad I feel better. It was, I don't know. I, I woke up on the last Friday and it was just like the like the moment my head like left the pillow, it felt like someone just like grabbed a cinder block and just like smacked me back down. <laughs> like oh, that really hurts. <laughs> but all good now. So we're all, we're good. We're safe. We're good. Uh, Sasha does say, I'm down for that. It sounds like fun. It's nice. a ton of fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stab Abigail the Cold. <laughs> That's an amazing name. I love it. Stab, Stab Abigail. Abigail the Cold. <laughs> That's real good. That's good, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's funny uh and yeah like, it was it was like, a really really bad migraine like then like it's so, it maybe so nauseous yeah when you messaged me like hey i just took an advil um 
I'll let you know. I was like, nah, man. This ain't happening. You gotta <laughs> take care of yourself. Yeah. And then you were like, yeah, man, it's gotten bad. Like, I'm yeah, like, <laughs> it was like 10 minutes later. I was like, yeah, it just got worse. It's not working. Back to bed. Yeah. <laughs> but our new community manager managing the community by stepping in. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, all right, so what's been going on? What's been what's been happening the past week? Uh, we had the big week of streaming. So, yeah, that was last week. Uh, ton of fun. I love doing the community Q and A, Lauren. Actually, being able to play the game on stream was nice. was actually interesting. Uh, and then I found out that I've uh, uh, for, I'm very forgetful when I'm on stream because I did my god dang Mordron core back onto my game. <laughs> it's like I probably could have beat that variant, but yeah, I forgot. So. Uh, what else? Got to play D and D again for the first time last week, and hopefully again this week. I think we're playing again today. Ditto. Yeah. Oh, you're you're playing D and D too? Not not just aliens? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, on a prop on a proper campaign. Ooh. What are you playing? Uh, homebrew of Gar Wars creation. Oh. That sounds fancy. Mm hmm Some familiar faces in there. And, I mean, shoot. I've been trying to game with Robo Goblin for so long. <laughs> um, and finally, we game. And finally you're in? Yeah. Yeah, we're gaming together. That's so much fun. That's good. I actually... Uh... My sister added me to the, some, like, local Discord about, like, meeting up to play games and stuff. Um, and someone was started, was uh, trying to collect, collect new people for a, a campaign they were running. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll throw my hat in and play with a bunch of n new people I haven't played with. Uh, so we're, pl we're, we're playing on Monday. I'm going to be playing a Oath of Vengeance Half-Orc Paladin. Ooh. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I, I have a... It's like in my back pocket, if it's ever like, if ever I'm doing like a, a stream to show that's going to be a campaign, like if slash when that happens, I have a paladin that I've written their backstory and stuff. And it's like, it's a, it's a real, real good one. I'm excited to try it out. But mm. I also have the, uh, I won't use a paladin ever until that happens. <laughs> uh, Jathan is asking, so, so speaking of Sean playing the game, has the so-called juiced account beaten every variant available? Uh, I have not beaten every variant available, uh, mainly because the time I have to play is during work, and that's usually right for, for me testing bugs while I'm doing it, so. My account's, and my, honestly, my account is... Well, it has a lot of stuff. It's not really that juiced. Like, I'm sure there are about you a, a, a fair amount of people out there who have stronger accounts than I do. God of War and Mars. <laughs> I think I think I'm on par with God of War and Mars. Um, but I think there there are definitely a bunch of a couple of people out there who are probably a bit stronger than I am. But I mean, I could make myself a lot stronger, but it's just a lot of effort to like. Go add in all the stuff I want, spend all the time to do all the contracts and yada yada. So, I don't want to like juice it too much, you know? Yeah, nothing we nothing worse than just playing a game that's just a little too juicy. Yeah, yeah exactly. Did you activate no clipping? I, I threw on aimbot and it still didn't work. <laughs> uh, Jay is asking, uh, oh, is it good to the other one shot that uh, the one shot Gawar did, or is it separate? Uh, Gar is saying it's in the same road, but a thousand-ish years before the one-shot. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm a bard for the Ooh. first time ever. I've never played a bard. Are you gonna be, what kind of bard are you going to be? Singing bard? Dancing bard? Uh, bard poetry bard? eloquence. I'm a storyteller. Mm -hmm. And, like, bards just get so many musical instrument proficiencies that, um... Some of them are like, oh, yeah, he plays this instrument. But other ones, like, he's got a slide whistle. Um, 
like symbols. He's got like, all these things that are going to be like spell component things. Like he's going to use them to, you know, thunder wave or whatever. Yeah. But they're like just for storytelling, you know, like uh, fully basically. That's cool. One of the one of the favorite bards I've seen was the one that that uh, Marisha played on. Oh yeah. The ter- the Terry and Darrington adventure one. You created the like uh, gramophone. Or yeah, uh, that was the so villainer. cool. Yeah. Uh, my character is like is older too. Is definitely uh, the oh Hazel horny Hazel's bard, name, yeah. a horny bard trope does not apply to oh, Marvelon. Yeah. That's good. And my stats, oh boy. <laughs> Let's just say it's the squishiest I've ever been. Like, <laughs> yeah. Strength, I'm pl- Dex, and Con are all terrible. So oh. like, and the thing is, uh, Bards of Eloquence, um, they're not statted for uh, some of the things that are like really cool that Bards get. That's just all Bard of Lore. Yeah. Other Bards, like... You got no protect self protection spell. Kind yeah, of lore bards are kind of the the the, str- the super strong ones. Uh, Tiberator is asking, "Hi, I'm new to the game. Do you have any advice or tips?" Thanks. Uh, welcome to the game. First off, uh, I see Lauren has already tagged the Discord, so always a good spot to go. Uh, biggest advice uh, I can, would say is to if you get a chest, open them up right away. Like don't don't hold them. It does it does nothing for you to hold on to them. Um, every adventure you do, don't just end. Don't just complete the adventure when you get to your area goal. Um, just keep pushing. Like, keep pushing as far as you can until you can't get any in any area farther. Uh, and then reset. That way you'll, you'll be trying to push to gain more and more favor. Uh, and then in a time, if you have time to get pieces, get Averin. <laughs> Averin's yeah. just really good. You so, push it. Yeah. yeah. You push it. Push it real good. Oh, no. That's not what I was quoting, though. Oh. Uh... MDI would just completed split the party two. Congratulations. Applause. Woo. Oh boy. Sean, you weren't here for it, but I do want to know what your answer is. One of the things Triavor and I asked chat was um, if you, because we sort of did a big play on variants and it was very good and funny and, uh, Probably the best thing I'll ever do in my life. Sorry, Mile. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. He's not here right now, so he didn't know that. Uh, no, is if you could create a variant in the game, oh. what would it be and how would it work? Oh, ooh. Uh, for, I'm going to answer this question first. Uh, fly with meh. Since if you had 10 million pieces, then get who? It's kind of hard to hear. Uh, get Averin. Averin. He is a slot 10 champion. Nope. 11? 11 champion. Uh, who is, like, the best support in the game. Like, hands down, the best support. <laughs> um, so if I if I could make a variant, what would the rules be? And how would it play? Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Um... I had the option of telling you I was going to ask you this question, but I wanted to see you flounder a bit. No, that's fair. That's fair. Uh, I would, you know, I would actually, uh, it would be, you can only use champions with S or W in the name. Just the Sean Wall variant? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because there's the, there's the OK one where it's called Everything's OK. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can only use champions with O and K in it. So I, I, I love that idea. I think that's, that's, so, that's a super fun idea. You just pick two letters. And then you, if they have it in their name, then great, they're in. But if not, they're out of luck. So, what would it be called? Uh, everything's not swell. Nice. <laughs> it's gotta have, you gotta have some of the SW in it, right? So, so I think I think not swell is is a good one. Okay, what about you? Did you pick one? Did you make one? I cheated. Oh, uh, what'd you do? I cheated because Lauren did her stream earlier in the day, and I liked her answer to that thought um, a lot. And so I was, I was like, "Yeah, that's my that's my choice too." Um, and it's basically all characters that have snacks in the game. So like, shout how Orkira has the marshmallows. Marshmallows. Yeah. 
Who else has them? I think Ellie Wick has snacks. I don't think Ellie has snacks. I just got just got a pet frog, but or toad, I guess. Grok. I, I don't. I just I remember on stream something came up and I was like, oh, Ellie Wick has this thing or someone. Oh, Str uh, Strix. Snacks. Yeah. Maybe Obo uh, Lion. <laughs> I'll understand she'll really be allowed to use her full names and titles, which will qualify for any restrictions. Yeah, because she's got, like, a ton of titles, isn't she? Uh, Oh my god, yeah. Uh, Alinja, Alexandra, Garan Hill, uh, Sourbrand, Lord Keeper of Rhyme, Sapiro, Kinscrab of Clan, Monkey Mouse, Daughter of Oblivion. <laughs> yeah! I mean, if that's your full name, then yes, that would, that would work. <laughs> it's a very long name. Maybe, okay, maybe I'll have one where it's, uh, call it like the title belt or something like that. And. You have to only use characters that have extended titles to their names, like Archon <laughs> the Cruel. Yeah. That, that's cool, actually. Uh, oh, yeah, well, very cool. Uh, Jendale is asking, can variants be purchased with cash? Uh, variants, so variants are, are not, they're just a regular adventures uh, that have different rule sets. Uh, so you don't have to buy them, they're all, they're all in the game. Um, so, you know, when you complete Mad Wizard, there'll be, like, two or three adventures underneath it that have, will have a different rule set. Like, you can only use uh, champions with wisdom 14 or higher. Or, you know, these extra monsters are added to the f every area. Those kind of things. Those are, those, are what's, those are what variants are. Uh, I think Trevor had one that was pretty clever where it was... Could only use characters that I have not made a pancake of yet. <laughs> uh, Dragon bait. <laughs> That's it. Who? Yeah, who is that again? Uh, Never heard of him. Yeah, uh, Messi Duval saying they would create a variant where you can use only one champion and to, and get to stage a hundred, but while getting random buffs to make it easier or worse. Ah, oh, okay. That's interesting. That's some real binding of Isaac stuff right there. Yeah. Yeah. Plug for Binding of Isaac because I just started playing that game and it's real yeah. good. Yeah, I've I've on and off played that game for for a couple of years. It's it's a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, I I, I picked up Rogue Book. I picked up Rogue Book by the way. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. I've been on a bit of a, a game buying spree. <laughs> it's, uh -oh. So now I have a bunch of games I'm like I've played a little bit of and then have stopped playing to move on to the next game. So ooh. <laughs> Ashley, are you listening? Are you watching? No? Okay, me too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Trevor's asking Roguebook. Uh, Roguebook is a roguelike. Roguelite? Roguelike? One of the... Whatever the definition is. Um, uh, I think roguelike is you start... Uh, like Once you die, you lose everything. Start over. And then roguelite is the name that's given to games where it's that. But you also are able to do like permanent buffs. Like you can also uh, okay. or make adjustments to your character. But the thing is, I don't know how like steadfast and true that is because a lot of roguelikes have to at least some degree that 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 thing. But rogue book is cool, Trevor. It's um you yeah. run with like two characters. And it's a deck builder. Mm -hmm. I do like me a deck builder. Yeah, it's kind of like Sl like Slay the Spire, but a bit more roguelike. On like, there's like a grid map you move along to like find stuff, and you open up, um, pages. open up, oh yeah, open up big pages and get get bigger areas and collect items and stuff on the on the ground. Um, and then you fight monsters and kind of go on to the next page and then rinse repeat. It's on Steam and yeah. oh, PS4, on, PS4 Switch. Switch. Yeah. I, I, I don't think it's on Switch yet. Google says it's on Switch, so. I know. Yeah. But then when I tried to get it on Switch, I had to get it on Steam instead. Ah, uh, okay. 
And my tablet is not great for gaming, so... Oh, yeah. Uh, but even better than that, you've played. I've been playing critically acclaimed Final Fantasy XIV. That's free at level sixty, including a award winning expansion, Heaven's Word. Yeah, jeez, <laughs> Nevada. Yeah, I need to jump in on that. Yeah, it's it's fun. Ah, uh, well, not to, uh, sorry. I'm wasting. I even having an okay time on Final Fantasy XIV. <gasps> Mainly because critically acclaimed yeah, Final cr- Fantasy XIV, and you don't have only amazing things to say about it. Yeah. Careful. I know. The Venn diagram of. Final Fantasy fourteen fans in our <laughs> yeah in our community is probably pretty, <laughs> it's pretty tight yeah um yeah so the, my problem with Final Fantasy fourteen so far has been everyone I've talked to about it has been like just rush through like Realm Reborn which is like the first kind of exp- the first kind of like main storyline and when you get to Heaven's War then that's when the game gets good but that's like level fifty five right so. I've been like pushing through so I've like and there's this little gap between a realm reborn and heaven's ward where you just do these stupid little quests where you like I talk to one person they go oh talk to this guy so you go talk to that person they go okay now go back to the first person you, and you go back to that person they go great quest complete here's an item oh it's not your class sorry and then you you do that but for like a hundred quests Hank sitting over here on his uh, laptop doing work, just nodding, like yeah. Vigorously. I'm like, I have like. Final Fantasy fourteen. Get in here. Tell, tell us about your gamings. Let's play Mario Golf. Let's play Mario Golf. Yeah. Come on over and tell us about Mario Golf. Now Dan and Dan Jake played Final Fantasy fourteen. He had the same gripes as you about it. Mm. Yeah, and, it's, and it, fact, it kept me from playing it because I'm like, I'm not a super RPG guy. In the first place, I like more like the Skyrims and the Fallouts, first-person RPGs. Mm-hmm. So, but, you know, I had a Switch for a year that I didn't touch in it. Oh, I have to go on a plane for three hours to visit Lee. Let me see what's new. Mario Golf. Oh, no. Does that mean your Smash Brothers doesn't have everything online? Uh, not mine. My brother's. <gasps> but that's the fun of it. We get to unlock stuff. <laughs> Great. Sonic entered the battle. Uh... Yeah. But yeah, so yeah, so it's the same thing. It's like everyone I've, I've talked to has been like, "Oh, just get through it. And you, when you get through it, just do the grind. You'll get to Heaven's Ward, and it'll be a lot more fun." And it's like, but I want to be, I want to have fun now. Right. I don't want to spend thirty hours not having fun to get to fun. Not yeah. at this point in gaming. No. I, yeah. I, uh, I listened to that podcast, The Besties, where it's uh, Griffin and Justin McElroy and uh, Chris Plant and Rush Frustick. And they talk about like games and things like that. And one of the things is like, look, hear me out. The game gets really fun 15 hours in. Because <laughs> one of them's like obsessed with Nier. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's like, once you beat it twice, it gets really cool. Like, so, oh my God. so that game that game is fun and but it, it, it does pick up quite a bit after the second after in your third playthrough. So I that's one I, I will forgive because like the like even the first like the first two are they're so different like when you when you play like the first playthrough it's a very action uh rpg normal uh and then the second playthrough is like it's almost like you're playing like snake <laughs> yeah it's but it's cool like the way the way they did it is you have to like you like, hack monsters and fight them and like try uh, you try and blow them up through like this like internal like memory system but it's, it's fun it's cool so like it's it's different enough that it make it makes sense to do it two times uh yeah let's Great. go one, two, two three. three. Well, yeah. Woo! That's Havilar, and, right? And, uh, I think that's Alindra. Oh, it is Alindra. Oh, that, the, yeah. I saw the dress and I was like, oh, it must be Havilar. But there are similarities. Yeah, it's the the pink. It's the, it's the pink that threw me off. But now, now I see uh, Mr. Griff. I'm looking all professional there. Yeah, Griff, looking all cool. Yeah, I did the Freely Pancake, and I had not seen yet that, like, all of the heroes basically got a red panda skin. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was just like, what? And I didn't get to make them? Yeah. Uh, Sash is even saying, dude, I'm stuck in that gap right now, and it's the worst. My partner and I are trying to power through. Yeah, that that's kind of, I, I just did the uh, the Shiva fight. So I have like twenty quests and I think two raids to go through, 
I think still. Yeah, I, I just. It's hard I though. Have, <laughs> I have two year old child. Yeah. Too much to like invest that much time in a thing. Yeah. No, for for you and for people with children, MMOs is not a good game. <laughs> like I hop on to Apex and Hank and I. Oh yeah. Hank and I will Let's party. Pick up and play. Yeah, Hank and I party chat, and then basically are like, sorry, third person, but <laughs> I don't want to hear a 13-year-old yelling. We can see the microphone yeah. talking, and we're like, are we going to get out of party chat to interact? Nah, this is our time to chat. Because <laughs> no one wants to hear me and Hank BSing with each other, but like, oh, man, so today this happened. Like, get your head in the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Uh, Gothos is asking, any chance to make it standard that retired heroes are given... By code during the event they retired from, i.e. Xander from this event. Uh, but let's face it, nobody really wants Xander. Um, I, get, I get the point, though. Uh, likely not. Because there, there's there's such an easy way for you to pick up those champions in time gates, especially and even the free time gates, like, I, I over the course of the year, it does try and give you a year one. It'll give you a year one champion. Um so it's for currently right now. It'll get, it'll give you a year one champion that's been retired, uh, so you can always pick it up from there. Um, and we, we give away so much stuff already that giving away champions on top of that just seems like a bit above and beyond what we're already giving. So, Nevada's uh, <laughs> asking Sean, can you please tell Trevor to to come to Primal and we'll play that fourteen with him? We would. We would. Nevada's, Nevada's grinded hard in 14. So, she's level 80, got the high, like all the all the crafting classes super high. I'm like, Nevada, can you make me something? She's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> I just... Uh, I've never really been, like, video game online community guy. Like, oh yeah, my guild in, in this game is doing... Some wild stuff, like yeah, I don't, I don't know people. Yeah. Uh, guys, you're saying should we make a list on how many champions you can get via code in the last twelve months? We've given out a bunch in the last like year. No joke. Yeah, especially with any of the ones with like this, like uh, you know, with Melf on Christmas, you know, Crawl on Christmas. Um, you know, so if we give out like the big skins like that, they come with the champion, so. Uh, oh, the crawl chef one. The, yeah. Oh, the, the yeah, the chef one, the mastermind crawl. Um, that was one of my absolute favorite like character pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Irene UK is saying he's not uh, he's not into video game communities and he's doing streams for a video game community. Such a boggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's hard for me, especially because when gaming like that was more accessible to me yeah was also like uh aka the dark times oh yeah 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 so i didn't really want to be around people in any any kind of fashion yeah that's fair uh devil specs is asking where to enter the code guys uh, if you go to your uh chest opening screen you'll see a little locked box up in the top right you can click on that pop the code into there sean is back uh, and you'll get your, uh, you get your chest. Oh, the code Sean is back. Yeah. I thought it was Sean Neesback. Sean Neesback. And you were just really excited about, like, another movie of Hobbs and Shaw. Oh, I, oh, I did the spacing wrong. Oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. That looks poor. There we go. That's better. Sean Neesback. I just realized I did that spacing completely wrong, and it looks... Bad. <laughs> oh, I was just right. being silly. I wasn't. Yeah, to I didn't. Was, I I put the. Uh, regret your decisions. Yeah, I know. I I moved the uh, the hyphen, so it was like four three five, rather than four four four. All right, that's fixed. Sasha, can you fix that in the code, please? In the in the nightbot. <laughs> now that I see it, I I don't see people putting code. I, it comes up. I'm like ah. <laughs> Oh, nice. Oh, just did. Thatcher, you're so on top of it. Thank you so much. Uh, MTI is asking, actually, what does happen once we get to year five? Does random year one champion become random retired champion in the time gates? That's a good question. I don't have an answer to. Because um, I think our year five, um, 
I think that's going to start. What that starts in like September, for High Harvest I Tide. Have, I have an answer to it. What is that? I mean, it's wrong. Like, is that cool? <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, go for it. If you have an answer that's wrong, go for it. Yeah. So uh, when Year Five happens, uh, those Year One champions uh, they all go to a farm. Oh no! Where other Year One champions uh, they just get to run around and play and, and kind of yeah. live out their best lives. No, no. They don't have to worry about formations or or like slots. They just get to be, you know. It's really. <laughs> It's really beautiful if you yeah. think of that. They, they can actually choose to walk left if they want to mm. without getting hurt. So, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't like, I, used to, there, I imagine there is something coming up uh, that would have a solution to that. I don't have an answer for that right now because I'm not, I don't, just don't know it. Uh, that would be a good question for Justin uh, next Thursday on Developer Insights. Uh, Babylon Ranger is asking, what is what was last week's weekend buff? Weekend GE and feats or or feats, uh, and this weekend's buff while we're on it. Ooh, good question. I actually don't have it open. Oh boy, oh boy. Give me two seconds to find the thing. Uh, -na -na. Wow, thanks Google Docs. You've encountered an error. Well, I might not be able to tell you because oh, there it goes. Okay, never mind. I'll take it back. Uh, so last weekend so was the color spray weekend uh, that came with course slot five alt damage boost, uh, the bobble necklace. Uh, and this weekend's is the natural performers weekend. Uh, so we, we are buffing freely Calliope, Jarlaxle, Deacon, and Birdsong. Um, Sean. Yeah. And you. Oh, and me. Buff, oh, you're a I'm a natural performer. Thank you. Um, and the uh, the GE for this weekend is freely slot two, the luck of Yandala requisition boost. Yes, yeah, so we're buffing uh, freely's unlucky for them. Calliope's bardic inspiration, Jarlaxle's uh, master of piracy and master of skies. Uh, Deacon's getting story of doom. And confidence in the boss, getting that speed boost, huh? Uh, and Birdsong gets Song of Battle, 200%. All 200% buffs this weekend, so. Confidence in the boss, gotta go fast. Oh, hey, Robo Goblin, hey, how's it going? Robo! Uh, I saw your post on Twitter, and I, you, did the right, you did the right thing. Uh, that person was super mean and should not have done that. We love you, you're the best. So I, want to put, I want to put that out there. They were super bad to be like, well, can you do it tomorrow? Like, yeah, just just stupid. So We stand behind you. In this house, we stand, TTRPG gifts. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's the... Uh, uh, Devil's Pass, what was, uh, what to enter the, la the last spot for the code? Oh, the exclamation mark. Uh, make sure you grab the exclamation mark, because that, that is part of the code, and that should be in their last slot there. Uh, sorry, first time here in first code, too. Yeah, no problem. So, uh, always glad to help, so. Yeah, we, we say here, there is never a need to apologize for any question. Yeah. And then also, I followed that up with, yes, you can read it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know when the retirement sale begins. Uh, ooh, that is a good question. I don't know if we've... Uh, I'd imagine it was... Uh, hold on. I think I, I can find it, I think. Retirement sale. Uh, so the week one of the retirement sale will be from August 4th to August 10th. Uh, and on sale will be Xanathar's Goldfish and the Arctic Fox Familiar. I, uh, I submitted... Submit. Uh, <laughs> I put in a submission for a, a, a name for the retirement sale, but it didn't seem like that got through. But I, I wanted to be called, I'm getting too old for this slot. <laughs> I'm getting too old for this slot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
Dos Bessons. By the way, the thing he is making it reminds me of the stuff I used to make to paste on windows and such when I was little. <laughs> yeah. This is drawing with this is literally just drawing with your food and playing with your food. So. Making a career out of the thing I was told never to do when I was younger. Yeah. Oh, here's the link for our blog to the uh, retirement cell. By the way, it's in chat there. So you can see everything, everything coming up and the dates. And then when, when then they all fully retire, so. Uh, I noticed extra tears added to favor blessings this week, but nothing to buy in those tears. Is this a teaser for the things to come or a glitch? Uh, I guess a little bit of both at this point. Um, <laughs> so they did glitch to show what was com what, uh, that they were coming, but they didn't show what those what they were. So it is a bit of a teaser uh, that yes, we are working on new blessings. I think Justin said that. Uh, on Thursday anyway. Uh, and then when they're coming, well, that's a mystery. Ooh. That says you hope Justin talked about that. I hope Justin talked about that. And if not, hey, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, Owen Ten's asking, did Sean set the weekend buffs are? I did, but I can say it again. Uh, we are buffing uh, with the Natural Performer Weekend, uh, Freely, Calliope, Jarlaxle, Deacon, and Birdsong. And Freely's slot two, uh, the God Trap is the uh, the GE of this weekend. Yeah. Justin said they already have tons of them, but just don't have content plan to go with them yet in most cases. Cool. Okay. Uh, is that code? Uh, Devil Spass, is that code the only one redeemable at this date, or are there more code because I can use it as a new person to the game? Uh, yeah, if you go and join our Discord, we actually have a special combinations channel. Uh, that has that a full list of all the codes that we put on a regular basis. Uh, if you go back about a week, um, all of those will be available. So our, the code from streams usually last only one week, seven days until the next, kind of until the next stream. Uh, so just go back about seven days in Discord and start grabbing all the codes. Because there's a lot. You're gonna get a lot of chests. We have a lot of streams on this on this channel. We partner with a bunch of different streams who all have their own codes. Uh, yeah, I love when I'm in a. I love when I'm watching a stream. And uh, Idle Champions code. I was like, what? Nice. Yeah. So I didn't miss here. No buff for Hitch's Natural Performer at the Natural Performer Weekend. <laughs> yeah, you know what? That's a, <laughs> that's a good point. Um, that is... We should have, we, I think we should have buffed Hitch instead of Jarlax. So I think that would be the, the spot to, 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 to swap in. Oversight, I think. That's an oversight. <laughs> Not doing natural perform, natural perform we can. Come on. <laughs> yeah, Red has a lot of codes. Um I think the the dis the Discord should also have the link to the uh the hidden tw list of twenty twenty one codes, which has a bunch in there as well. Um So don't forget to check don't forget to find try and find that as well. So Cause every like, the past couple of years we've done like a hidden code list where we kind of send you guys on, a, on a, an adventure to find the codes and some, those are fun. Yeah. Is that is that list finished? Did you guys get them all? Or are there still some missing? Oh, now you're gonna make them feel bad. Yeah, I I don't know. It's, I haven't I haven't heard anybody talk about it in a while, so I I assume every, it, all the codes have been have been, uh, found, but I'm not a hundred percent. Is it, is it at Christmas today? Christmas in July. Let's go. <laughs> oh, after the last spoilers thing, instead. Oh, okay, okay. All are found if there aren't any. Okay, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any like secret plus plus codes. So. Any plus ultra? Yeah, <laughs> plus ultra. Watashi Uh. Oh, before Dylan retired from the show, he gave loads of clues for the mini ones. Oh, so he just like. Here's here's some quick some quick hints and you guys find them all okay yeah I don't know, we give you guys hints and you guys find them like immediately yeah so I'm still uh, trying to get permission to make my own uh, hidden code if you tell me before a show I'll make it you gotta have a hint to go with it though that's all. Uh, uh, TTRPG TT, it's messing because it's TTRP gifts, yeah, not RPG gifts. And it gets me every time. Uh, 
Um, uh, have y'all opened some AFR packs? Uh, not in person. I've opened a, a couple on uh, uh, Magic Arena, uh, which I pulled Tiamat in one of them. Hello. Uh, yeah. Actually, Mars's stream was lit with when he was opening his packs. Oh, boy. He pulled a um, Borderless Hollow Tiamat. Which I think is the most expensive card in the set, with like sixty bucks. Online or he got it? Oh uh, no, like actual, like actual cards. Yeah, he bought a I couple, like a couple big watch. packs. I would have loved to have watched that because you know his reaction to getting that. Yeah. Crazy. Well, the in the entire time we were making fun of him because he he kept pulling Delina and Crylos for like through the regular packs, and then he, he there's these um, AFR has these like collector packs that come with uh, um. Like oh, like a bunch of hollows or like different, uh, different uh, art style ones. Yeah. Um. Uh, so with that, uh, he ended up pulling a hollow Delina, um, a I think a hollow alternate art Cridal, and we were just like laughing. I was like, haha, you pulled like the two bad characters. Ha ha ha. The cards are good, but like you know, the comparison in Idol Champions. Ha ha. We're like laughing at him. Yeah, and then he's like, then he pulled some like random card behind it, and the card behind that was like the borderless like full art Tiamat like hollow, and we're like, oh, the bad luck comes with the good. Let's go. <laughs> Sasha, you say something about audio doubling up, or was that just you? Did you have two instances of the stream open? Was that what it was? Just you. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay, cool. I saw you typing it and I was like, oh god, I need to finish the story first before I address it, but okay. Uh, yeah. The pack room was fun and long. It was long, but it was, it was a ton of fun. Uh, uh, Vani has a code? Uh, might have been the previous. Uh, just Abigail. <laughs> Still love it. Uh, I'm planning on getting the Dritz, Caddybree, Wolfgar, Brunor, and Guinevar token cards. I'm getting the Madden and Frame for my office mate for his birthday. That's super cool. That is super cool. I, I, I want to buy some Magic cards, like actual physical ones, but I have boxes of other cards I need to get rid of first before I'm allowed to buy new cards. <laughs> Which I have agreed to, because that's, that's the deal. <laughs> So, one of my favorite things to do on weekends, especially right before our show, or in this case, during, uh, is Justice Armin does these awesome uh, RP warm-ups for characters. Like, hey, if you're playing D&D &D this weekend or any other TTRPG, and he throws out, like, a hypothetical question for you to answer. So, Oh, like an icebreaker. Yeah. Okay. Kind of, just like a kind of like a warm up, like it says, you know, just get you in that mindset of your character and something that, you know, you're not thinking like, oh, this is the quest I've been going on my whole life and this is my ancestry and my family tree, et cetera, et cetera. So, okay. The RP question is Drum What roll. is the character's favorite smell? Character's favorite smell. No. Oh. That goes out to Chet and Hank and Stella. Stella's just like food. <laughs> uh, character's favorite smell. Uh, Trevor says onions. <laughs> it's like the smell of victory. Ah, love it. Garlock for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Garlock likes smell likes the smell of onions. The um. I'll go with I guess with with the new with my half orc paladin, um, probably the smell of like a like a beef stew, like a freshly made like kind of home cooked like beef stew. Yeah, Hank Hank has a half orc paladin too. But think about it. I would it. like to think that he loves the smell of wildflowers, like not something typical. Yeah, oh, wildflowers. 
like yeah like i imagine them passing through a field like hang on guys like wait, wait, one second yeah like what like dude, what don't, are you doing? don't destroy those flowers hey hey <laughs> yeah stop and smell the flowers yeah so my new character marvelon his favorite smell is that little smell of sulfur that you get with like fireworks wait oh i thought you were gonna say when ghosts are around <laughs> Like that, like after a firework is spent. Oh yeah, yeah, like the, like the kind of like the match smell. Mhm. Yeah. I do. I like. I like that smell. <laughs> that is a good smell. Yeah. Hank likes that smell. Lee. I wouldn't put it in any kind of like. Ooh, you know what smells good? Well, I mean, how often? I'm a flip. I'm gonna flip this pancake. Yeah. Go for the flip. I see flips in the chat. Let's go. Get your boy, Briv. The Briv one, the Briv one's funny. I like it. So, I like, just though it's it's such a weird like gesture look, and like the kind of like the 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 skull like gesture cap on on his front. Rewinding time. We we whoop whoop. Hey, I like the Briv. <laughs> um. Oh, sorry, we didn't get a good shot. I got to do it again. <laughs> this week's uh, episode, Lee flips one Briv pancake for an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah. Uh, Stabby, oh, what would Stabby's favorite smell be? Scale polish? Oh, okay. Oh, thanks for thanks for HGG. I'm glad to be back. Uh, he looks like he should be in a Mardi Gras parade. <laughs> totally, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I love that one when I saw it. Yeah. Kitty Mage, uh, I missed the... You missed the pancake? We flipped, we flipped it twice! <laughs> oh, here we go. Whoop, whoop, whoop. This one's for you, Kitty Moog. Let's go! It's Briv! <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Star Chaser. Somehow I knew you were going to flip it the third time. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, they were uh, the Kitty, was Kitty Mug was feeding the cat. That's good. Okay, as long as the, as long as the children are fed. Wait a second, Nick. We're not doing it again. <laughs> it was it was Briv. It was Briv. It was flipped. You can you can you can clip you can clip it. <laughs> Go back and help Manson find it. We gotta move on. So oh. much time, so little to do. Yeah. Strike that. Oh, it was a bit loud compared to Elite. I mean, that's I'm not surprised by that. Uh, I've already turned it down a little bit before, so I don't want to turn it down too much. Okay, well, I think I might be working on that later. <laughs> yeah, so when I uh, I so I watched a bit of last week's episode, I noticed like the aud your audio. Just, we need to get you a better mic, dude. Uh, they got it, they got it, Sean. Yeah, oh, Hank, you're the best. <laughs> so my audio is not great, but you just heard Hank, who's clear across the room. Get out of here. So no, it's, it's, so it's, it's actually, I know it's different because what I hear through Zoom is, was well, actually not too bad, but what I was hearing yesterday from like the stream um... was not as good. <gasps> uh, Graphic Wolf has an excellent point. Lee, where is your uniform? <gasps> How <laughs> dare you? <laughs> That's it's it. So unprofessional. Yeah, so unprofessional. I'm ashamed. I take one day off. I wore it then. Oh. Yeah. He has one thing to put on and he forgets it. There it is. There it is. I mean, you guys basically naked yeah, yeah. <laughs> i am oh, scandalized really yeah i wasn't trying to do an nsfw yeah. <laughs> stream is literally unwatchable <laughs> we can't we would have had to stop <laughs> thank you graphic wolf it's much appreciated thank you for keeping helping me keep lee in line yeah thanks for putting me on blast graphic wolf <laughs> yeah. nsfp it's not safe for pancakes yeah <laughs> <laughs> They didn't realize this was a naked art stream. It's 
wrist, I feel free, you know. Yeah. The I'm, wrist I'm, is looking good today, huh? <laughs> <Ta -da>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Gravigal says, I was worried something may have happened to it. Glad, glad to help. <laughs> Won't somebody think of the pancakes? Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, I love coming back. I love the stream. It was so sad to miss it last like last week and then when when you were away. How was the trip, by the way? I, I, we, oh. talked, we talked a bit about it. Oh, man. It was really, really good. It's like, you know, it's not an uncommon thing for, you know, it's, I mean, it's uncommon general but yeah. it's not you know super unique to be like, like oh i'm trying to find my my parent but just the fact that when when uh, gary found out and just the whole process has been like really cool just to the fact that he wants to be a father figure he wants to be a grandfather yeah and to catch just, up on that on that missed time it really it really helps you know because it's something that ashley's been living with for her whole life and just not knowing and yeah um so it was just it was really great that's cool oh, there's an adorable picture of leo on a jet ski i i think i think he sent that to me it was really cool yeah 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 i sent it to you dude i was on a jet ski yeah that's that's pretty cool like i'm not gonna show you me on a jet ski <laughs> It's like, Lee, it's dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Carving waves, yeah. No, you can't make me. <laughs> Who's the real kid there, yeah? <laughs> what was super cool about it, too, is, like, the lake was right off of the, uh, like, the house, like, 15 feet away from the, the porch. Oh, that's cool. So, you know, it was, like, instead of it being, like, okay, we're going to go to the lake this uh, this weekend, uh, pack your stuff, we got to rip the things, et cetera. It was seriously just a, hmm, I feel like ripping across the lake for a little bit. Go downstairs and run. <laughs> go downstairs, jump on jet ski, and get out of there. Catching dinner from your bedroom window. <laughs> <laughs> we, we caught, uh, our last day, we had this big fish fry, because the night before, we caught, like, 24 fish 10 of which were or nine of which were ashley's catch wow yeah she killed it how many did you catch a beautiful kelp i saw i did catch some <laughs> really beautiful kelp <laughs> but no fish now, on the second day on the second day i caught like six or so okay don't, oh don't so you caught it. six and ashley caught nine nice no what i think uh, it, was. it was the it was the first day we went out I caught two that were too small to keep. Oh, uh, okay. And a big old thing of salad. <laughs> you caught a, caught a potato salad, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, this potato salad's really, really fighting back today. Potato? I said a big thing old salad. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah I heard salad. I was like, you caught, you caught a salad? Okay, yeah. Um, Bill G G2000 says, uh, when you do use maple syrup, do you warm it first? I think it's much better warmed. I have never warmed my maple syrup. Honestly, I prefer, like, I put my maple syrup in the fridge. I love, like, you know those, like, sausage wrap, uh, bacon wrap sausage sticks you throw in the microwave for an easy breakfast? Oh, yeah, yeah. Cold so, syrup with that, dipped in that, it's oh. just like, hot and the cold is perfect. For me. Yeah. Well, it's going to be hot on the outside, cold on the inside, and then you add the cold syrup on top, and then it's still just cold, right? Yeah, everything's just... <laughs> yeah. The top of this is burning my mouth. I put ice cubes <laughs> on mine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Babylonian says, the biggest thing I've ever caught was a hunk of coral, so congrats. Uh, I, 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 I do remember going fishing, like, when I was, uh, when I was a lot younger. We, we went to this, like... This bridge that's down behind a, like, a YMCA here in Victoria, and we went we went fishing. We caught some like bottom feeder fish, and we're, for whatever reason, I, I brought them home. We put them in a pool in the backyard where they were there for a couple of days, and the next day, uh, they were gone. So I think something came by and ate them. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say we were behind a YMCA. I caught a treadmill. Caught a treadmill. <laughs> yeah. well, it was a wild treadmill. Get it. Get it. <laughs> I caught a good workout. <laughs> yeah. I caught a tight tight thirty. Yeah. Oh no, the crossfitters run. 
I remember fishing uh, at a lake house when I was a kid and I caught a gar, which is a big, nasty looking fish. It's got like sharp teeth. It's really long mm-hmm. and it, it was pulling on the line. I'm like 10 and like, you know, 70 pounds. It pulled me in the water. Oh no. And I was <laughs> and my dad's like, not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna hurt you. But yeah, but you as a kid freaking out. Oh yeah, you yeah. Caught a garwar because this water yeah. was we never we never swam in it, so like falling in, regardless of a fish pulling me in, was scary. Sure. Were you wearing a life vest? Yeah, it was like maybe a little bit of water, but still, it's one of those like I remember that and. I, I like fishing, but I, I can't help but think of that sometimes. <laughs> Different kind of gar, folks, yeah. Gar in chat. <laughs> I, I was not caught back then. <laughs> uh, Herc works saying yeah, that. I was, like, I was getting concerned because, like, yeah, I, almost, I had a gar on the line. It was this nasty, disgusting. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, like yeah. dude, he's right there. <laughs> He's literally modding right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, her worker saying, my parents went deep sea fishing in Oregon. Mom ended up catching like 80 pounds of salmon. And their dad only caught one single one at 17 pounds. Woo. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Like a trip to Costco, 80 pounds of salmon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The bearded American American gar is totally different species, different species from the alligator gar. Yeah. Right. Uh, we'll throw well, it here. Plate moves out of, out of frame. All here is crash. Whoop. Uh, there have definitely been a few times where you've probably heard something like. That was a big uh oh on my end. <laughs> Let's play it cool. Give it cool. <laughs> Dude, that, that is the number one game when you're, especially a, a new pancake artist. Yeah. I brought up the first event. Uh, Hank, the first event I ever did with you guys was the Anime St. Louis event. Right. And so I'm sitting next to, to Dan, who's awesome. And I am, you know, when I'm at home, my batter, my batter was like much, you know, it was before like, hey, this is how we use it. It was like literally the first time I ever flew out there to visit and learn. So I used like a thicker batter, different bottle, like all kinds of things that made just like, okay, I got to get muscle memory to use this. Also, now I'm performing in front of you. And then you come in like, yeah, this is all wrong. <laughs> I mean, there is. Yeah, I said, I said them right. Like, no. You're effing up, professionals. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like, yeah, everything you learn by yourself, Lee, forget it. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're grabbing the, it's like the teacher that grabs the textbook. So it's like, is this your textbook? Rip it up. <laughs> it just throws it out the window. Yeah. And also has no care for the value of the American dollar. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm next to, uh, to, to Dan. And this little girl asks for an Ariel, the Little Mermaid. And little girls, uh, children are very, honest. very honest about what they think about <laughs> the pancake that's in front of them. They're honest about everything. Right. So I'm struggling because I like the their batter is just so thin to to me that. Um, every time I turn my bottle, like to start drawing, like batter just starts oozing out. And so I'm like, oh no. <laughs> and Mata sweat dripping. Oh, zooming in on your eyes. <laughs> so much sweat dripping. The anxieties. Um, so I, I start and stop this pancake four times. Oh. And the first time that the first, like, the first use of the pancake is because I made it come out and not it just doing it on its own volition. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, this is it. I'm going. This is the pancake. It was like start to finish, just dread in the pit of my stomach because I knew that like it was going to be one of the worst things I've ever done, <laughs> let alone it's for something. Yeah. 
So I'm about to flip it, and I know, I just know what's about to happen. And as I flip it, the little girl just looks me dead in the eye like I just ruined her day. And her and her dad is like, say, say thank you. <laughs> She's like, she just takes the pancake and walks away. And I just, have a nice day. I'm like, yeah, it was a pleasure. Because <laughs> usually I can keep I can keep my my s together, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. I know sometimes that I've made a pretty crummy pancake, but if I'm gonna play it off and just keep that mind frame of, here's your pancake. You couldn't do it any better. Go away, please. <laughs> That's why I, I, the thing is I've seen every artist do that. I've seen every artist make a bad pancake with someone that, especially with a kid that's a little too. First of all, excited, and then you gotta wait a bit, so they're getting impatient, and then it doesn't look exactly like the thing I handed you, the picture I handed you, and then I, I, I've seen Dan do that. Well, and the thing is, when you're working next to Dan, in Dan, who had, I mean, at that point probably did it four years professionally, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna go join a band, and Eric Clapton's the guitarist, <laughs> and I just started. I would never join a band with Eric Clapton. <laughs> But yeah, exactly. I mean, it's like, hey, the name in pancake art, and then me. Well, I was technically the, the second artist of Dan Cakes. When we started, Dan was known as Dan, Dr. Dan the Pancake Man. It wasn't Dan Cakes yet. It wasn't the right. company of artists. And I was like the technically the second artist because he would be so busy. I'm like, let me see if I can do it. Now, I'm okay at art, but he was the guy. So there'd be a line almost out the door for Dan and then like four or five people in my line because they started getting hungry. Right. <laughs> They're there for the food, not for the art at that point. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm going to just get some food here then go wait in his line. That is definitely <laughs> okay. I'm better at business anyway. It's definitely the struggle. Although, you know what felt kind of good, conversely, is when we did Stream of Many Eyes, it only lasted the first day because then people got kind of hip to the fact that Dan was Dan. Right. But, um... When uh, when we first did when we did stream many eyes, I knew the right. people that were there more than uh, than than Dan. God, I just keep well, they, they Han. knew you. Yeah, they knew me and my art and other things like that. So I had I had the line and I was like, yeah. Also, really, you, you want to go to you want to go to Dan? Trust me, he's really good at what he does. <laughs> that was still kind of new. Dude, it was just surreal being there. It like, was oh, so cool. Yeah, look, look, at all, look at all the practice you get now too, right? With like each week you're doing a bunch of pancakes. So I know I mean, yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna be really fun when I do an event and someone asks for something and I turn it into a monster, like a D and D monster. Yeah. Like, hey, could you do this? Uh, Honestly, that's the political improvisation of, of of what Dan does. Like, oh, surprise me! Someone asked me to surprise. And he'll make like a treasure chest. You can just do that. I want to make you a D&D character. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Devil's Backs is asking, so guys, I did all the wiki codes. I still have to check other places. Like, are they all send up there? Uh, the wiki codes are generally the ones that are like, they're around for everywhere, uh, around all the time. They're, they're kind of the permanent ones. Uh, Discord will have the one that are have like, they're more of the time limit ones. So those are the ones that will last a week. Uh, so essentially keep that Discord channel open, ready to go. And, and pretty much every day you'll find some new codes in there. So. And this is one of those pancakes that I just have that like gut feeling is going to be really cool with the flip. Yeah, Oriza's uh, panda one was my favorite one so far. Mm -hmm. I love that her like her, uh, her tails come out as part of like her ultimate. That that was a little that was a little confusing for people for uh, when we launched it because the the art shows the tails, but when you get the skin, it, it's just Oriza with no, without any tails. Um. Uh, yeah, so pe some people were like. There's supposed to be tails here, but there's none. And it's like, oh, then you also use the alt to create the, the wings. And that's what creates the tails, which I think was a uh, great idea. Super funny idea. So for anybody that maybe is jo is joining uh, after the first three minutes of our show, <laughs> you've got Sean. You've got Lee. You've got Hank, the owner of Dan Cakes, the owner of My Best Friendship. And it's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. <laughs> and he's just 
sitting here on a switch next to me, like not focusing yeah, on every I'm single pancake. second of my pancake art. Like, because he's never seen pancake art done. You know what I mean? Never he's never seen, seen this process. No, he, he definitely, uh, this is technically my vacation. I know, he's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad he's there to help with the technical aspect. He's all, I'm like, hey, how's your vacation? I need you to set up my gear and uh, here's what I'm missing. If you can mix some batter for me. <laughs> when I go... Makeup? Makeup? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's definitely... Like, it's funny I run the company, but I've definitely been on, like, the assistant level of, of past at the events for sure. Because I have no problem doing... you got to do it all, man, if you're going to you're gonna be a seed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I own this company. I have these many artists under my wings. I coordinate where they go, when they go there. I am Hank. Hey, bud, can you rent, clean these bottles out for me? Sure, no problem. <laughs> yeah. You shake this batter? Okay. Yeah. We'll do this color mix. Ah, the color mixing is so hard. Wow, color mixing is so fun. Yeah. We, have, we actually in the Dan Cake studio. It'd be a little loud here, but we have a paint shaker. So oh, that's nice. Into a paint can, an empty paint can, and shakes it all. You just walk back and let it do the work. <laughs> yeah, lady. You want a paint shaker, lady? When I get a garage. There you go. Perfect. Yeah. I mean, you can open a Home Depot, too. And... <laughs> yeah. Just go to Home Depot. Hey, can you uh, can you shake this for me? <laughs> hey, I know you use that for pancake batter, but I'm like, this is old paint I need to mix. Yeah. yeah. Hey, this, well, I mean... When we used to use spackle knives as yeah. our, like, because our spatulas were too thick. So when you're trying to, like, lift up a pancake with, like, a thicker spatula, it's, like, going it to it's gonna ruin it, possibly. Yeah. Like, oh. like, perfectly done. Yeah. So, like, it's like a spackle knife that you put in there. <laughs> That's my construction background. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the bubbles, the bubbles are starting. Yes, Babylon, the bubbles are coming. The bubbles are coming. The bubbles are coming. Run! The bubbles are coming. I love ah. that just this running in my head competition. There are three people who I have either made a pancake of them, of their character, or for them for something in that sphere is um, Christina Ariel, mm -hmm. Dave Walters, and Matt Mercer are the three people who I have made the most pancakes for and of. <laughs> so I think, I think B Dave has a top spot right now. Yeah. Uh, we've, def we've, definitely, we've definitely done a ton of fr uh, freely ones. Uh, yeah, you've done, you've done B Dave himself. Even before that. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'm not even talking about our show. I'm talking before that. Yeah. There was a uh, before this. What? There was a before times and hopefully an after time. Not after the show. The show's going to be forever. But yeah. I'm saying going to, like, events again, going to cons. Oh, Hank, don't Hank, say those Hank words. Hank does not need to go to all the events that uh, we do just because it's, you know, he's not doing the art. If he needs to, you know, press flesh and meet people and, you know, talk talk about the company, you know, he's, yeah. he's the one to do that. I'm not there. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like anytime there's, like, a con or a cool, like, geek thing or frankly anything that i go to that he's able to so he can hang out uh yeah. so you heard us you heard it here cons bring pancakes you get me and you get hank i'm gonna make this flip of a pancake you all want to see a pancake flip i do see all the flips in chat let's do it i'm gonna hold on one sec you're you're killing the suspense here come on and one two three four five six seven eight Wow. Hey, Ariza. Oh, I was right. I, that came out really well, yeah. Uh, Messy Duval is asking a noob question. Uh, are these pancakes edible? 100%. They are. It's just pancake batter and some icing food, I mean, gel food coloring. Things, like, if you chew it up and swallow it, it's edible, you know? Like, it, yes, I use a lead based paint for my mix, but yeah. who's to say? Yes, no. I told them not to. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it is absolutely 100% actually edible, uh, and they taste great. They taste like uh, a delicious pancake. Mm -hmm. And the icing gel food coloring that we use, um, I believe it is sucrose based. So the only real thing that you would have happen is that maybe it's a, a bit sweeter. 
even. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Base deal the sleep was asking, do they taste good? And then I guess I know. Yes. I was. I was answering two questions with one stone. Oh, the double down. Uh, uh, Stabbing the cold ball was like, <laughs> in quotes, pressed flesh. <laughs> Yeah, it's a weird term, but yeah, I get it. I mean, I, I, it, it's I'm, for handshakes, and I under, I get it, but you know, it's just the uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Hog Linux. Like I'm an old I'm an old soul, and that is you know the handshake. So yeah. Link Larry, Link Ross. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hog Linux asking. Uh, so this is the first stream I've been on Catch for a little over a month. Well, welcome back. Uh, where has Sean been? I assume he was somewhere, and as he is now back. Uh, I was just out last week because of a, of a really bad migraine. Um, and, and Trevor, uh, and the week before that, because uh, Lee was out of town, um, so now we're back. Well, Lee was back last week. I'm back this week. That's why Sean is back. And plus, I actually kind of forgot I had to make a code to this morning, and so I was like setting up the stream. And I was like, oh, I should make a code. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's like, uh oh. <laughs> I haven't been here, but I might as well insert myself into your code. Yeah. Uh, Beer Bender X is asking, how do I get the free chest? Well, if you take this code right here. The Sean is back with the exclamation mark. Uh, take that code. Go to your uh, chest opening screen in game up in the top right corner. You'll see a little locked chest. Go ahead and click on that and uh, copy paste the code into there, and you'll get your free electron chest. Uh, that's wait. Is it normal that Discord gets this many codes every day, or is there a reason for it? No, that's normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have a so each we have like we have, we have a ton of shows on, on this network. Uh, that all give anything that's the best around Isle Champions or D and D. Um, we'll give out a uh, a code for for, uh, for Isle Champions. Um, what do we what, that, what do we have? So we have uh, Champions of Lore, Champions Psychology, Mars's Guiding Hand, Gower's Guide to Everything, Gower's Guide to Everything t uh, on the Saturday, which is the a specific show. Idle Insights, Developer Insights. Grail Champions. Am I missing? Am I missing any? Eight shows? Uh, did you do Sketching Hour? Oh, Sketching Hour, right. Can't forget that. Sketching Hour is like an important part of our show. Right? It really is, yeah. So nine. Uh, all the Monday Mars is that is his specific show on his channel. This is strictly uh, for the CD games. So I think we have nine... Uh, oh, Bardic Inspiration, 10. So we have 10 oh, shows. Then, uh, the new show, Palling Around with Sean. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so 10 shows right now. and they, they, So that's 10 codes a week, essentially, right? Uh, and that's not including any of the podcasts that we're, um, that we have codes for, too, uh, or any other, any other one that we give out that pops up so yeah so we have a we have a lot of codes every week and we, we we do we do so many events um to you know we have our quarterly events to give out free stuff and usually have some other free codes uh yeah we have yeah so garwar and stuff are saying we, there's about 25 a week on average we give out free chess so generous yeah yeah i won't let anybody say this game is pay to win because you, you don't have to pay a, a cent in this game. We give out so much stuff that it's... Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen a game give out as much as this. Uh, Biggerous808 is asking, Sorry to go off topic, but what time is your show today, Gar? Uh, Gar's show starts at 1 p.m. Pacific time. So it's about an hour break between us and Garwar. Gives him time to sit up and have lunch. And then he's, he's good to go. Man, not last week. Yeah, not last week. That was a different one. Um, last week was rough. He had to be <laughs> like, hey, you got a real lot of to do today. Yeah. Also, it starts now. Yeah. Oh, and we also have the the, the weekend chest from like as Coffee and I said. So if you sign up on our newsletter, uh, you get a chest every week on for every Friday. So. It's like you want your gamers to be able to do stuff. Yeah. Definitely not EA. Yeah, definitely not EA. <laughs> yeah. 
more self-produced program minutes into my local TV station. Yeah, we. It feels like that actually. It feels like we're turning into this like an, an, an entertainment company, which I makes mean, sense because we're codename entertainment. Oh my gosh, it was written in the stars. Yeah, <laughs> it has been foretold. Wait, you're saying there's not like a paywall for every flip? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, fork it over to my PayPal. Ten bucks for a flip. Let's I'll go. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I just need 10 subs. Let's go. <laughs> I got to throw in my cash app. So yeah. <laughs> you, can ca you can cash up, Lee. You can Venmo me. Because for me, I, I'll, I'll just move it to the cat. I'll just move it to a different screen so you can't see the flip. So. <laughs> yeah, you'll just hear our reactions to my flip. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. No, yeah. no. <laughs> This is absolutely the greatest creation that's ever been made. <laughs> this should be in a museum. Ah, oh, time to throw it in the garbage. <laughs> uh, uh, Leggy Princess is asking, how do we sign up for the newsletter? Uh, if you just go to the, the main menu of the game, hitting escape or the, the first button on the very left, I think it is, uh, open up the main menu and you'll see the newsletter option there. You can go ahead and sign up with your email. Uh, if, you already ha if you haven't signed up before, that's how you get Hitch. So uh, you'll get Hitch for free. Uh, and then uh, every Friday we send out codes at noon uh, for your kind of your weekend chest. Uh, it can take a little while to send to you because we send them to a lot of people, uh, and it's based off of where you are on the list. So if you're on the, if you're if you're just end up expected it to be a couple hours before you get your code, but you'll get it over the weekend. So and the, yeah, and as Starfish said, they don't those chest codes don't have expiry dates. So if you want to sock them up for a hundred years, go for it. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna talk to Erin about uh, her books and her character Halvalar, mm -hmm. who I love and I adore, and Erin is so awesome. But I'm gonna have to have her go into her books and basically edit slash rewrite and make it so that Havilar's weapon is not a long speared staff, because my line like my. Like doing a long stream, yeah. <laughs> the bane of my pancake existence. Yeah. Like, accommodate that. <laughs> no, I persevere. No. <laughs> I'm gonna. I believe the term is for it's a glaive. Glaive, thank yeah. you. See, I, I yeah, I, my, my, I was trying. I was like, it's not a spear, but it's not a halberd. I'm like, what? What, what is this called? Oh, it's a, it's a glaive. <laughs> Leaving. Yeah, glad you leave. Uh, Trevor, Trevor says, I can tell you for a fact, she loves that Havilar uses the glaive. So you're uh, probably out of luck. Oh, no. Yeah, you're probably out of luck there, yeah. Trevor, put in a good word for me. Just be like, look, the pancakes. Think about the pancakes. Yeah. <laughs> and don't worry about your 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 off your 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 uh your work and everything just yeah, do it for the pancake work in your legacy just yeah like help us out the pancake yeah. no the, aaron's so cool the champions of lore is one of the absolute coolest shows because also they understand the value of a good like going off on a really cool tangent yeah that just lore is learning so much cool stuff <laughs> Oh boy, a good word, pancakes. <laughs> yeah, put in a good word for me, pancakes. Uh, oh, the new uh, the new Luke McKay comic is out. It's very very cute. Tell me about it. Describe it. I don't want to see it. All right. Describe uh, it. But so, in so much detail. All right. All right. Uh, so you you've seen the uh, the tavern background we have, right? With like, the dragon head on the wall. Describe it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. I'll take a look at the art. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what was, where is the? Uh, do I have the the tavern thing here? Uh, so this one? Yeah, that one. Mm -hmm. Hey, the tavern art. Da -da -da. And it's it's gone. I like the fire background. So <laughs> uh, the the smug Eliwick is good too. Um. Starfish is asking, what are the weekend buffs in G? Well, I already said them. No. So I'm not saying it again. No, that's fine. 
<laughs> nah, <that's not> <laughs> nah, that's good. That's good. Uh, all right, this weekend again it is the Natural Performer Weekend. Uh, so we're buffing freely Calliope, Jarl Axel, Deacon, and Birdsong, with the GE being Freely's slot two. <laughs> Some of us have to work and watch. I mean, I'm working right now. I I know what the weekend buffs are. <laughs> <laughs> Um, like it's your job. Yeah, almost, almost. Um, no, because then he'd be a professional. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right, and that's it for the show, folks. We're going right to the splash screen, and we're done. <laughs> yeah, I have the power to end the stream. Yeah. Um, <laughs> God, I'm, I'm kidding. I love you so much. I know, I know. Uh, yeah, so freely, we're buffing. Uh, unlucky for them, two hundred percent. Calliope's bardic inspiration. Is what we're buffing. Uh, Jolaxel, we're buffing Master of Piracy and Master of Disguise. Uh, Deacon, we're buffing Story of Doom and Confidence in the Boss, so get that extra speed. Uh, and Birdsong, we're buffing Sto Song of Battle. I think Sean needs to change to Chaotic Evil Monk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, went all the way back to July 17th, most because they're uh, when we expired, right? Uh, yes. Yeah, those ones sounds like they would probably be expired, so... Uh, message of all saying, another great thing about the stream is it's keeping me calm from getting owned at Demon Souls. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're playing a frustrating game, so I'm glad we can help. My, my friend got all the achievements in that, and I'm like, I don't know how he's not in the sanitarium. <laughs> yeah, he got all the achievements. He's constantly on edge, but, <laughs> I mean... That was his game. I just... Yeah. Me. Could. Yeah, I've played Demon Souls and a little bit of Dark Souls too, uh, but they just, just weren't games I could ever get into. But I, I love the setting of those games. Yeah, the setting is great. Like, yeah, I'm just not into being like abused by a video game. <laughs> so that studio made a really fun game called Ninja Blade, which is like kind of a reactionary button. Oh, I yeah, I played Ninja Blade. Ninja oh, Blade. oh wait, From Studios made that Ninja Blade. I believe so. I hated that game. You hated that game. That game was so. Like, it was so fun. bad. We talk about it. it's all it was was a react was a press button for a reaction game. Well, it, how I thought of it was like, yeah, it is annoying when some games just add this in for no reason. But if it's the whole game, I can accept that this is what it is. I hate oh. the thing unless I can accept the premise that that is what's supposed to be there, and then I can get into it. That makes a weird kind of sense. Yeah. Man, I like. So I, I bought this game when it came out, like way back in, because it's for the 360. And I was like, oh, yeah, I love Ninja Games. It'd be so much fun. I got like two hours in. I was like, I have done nothing but the reaction commands. This game sucks. <laughs> I just love how over the top. See, I bought it. I don't know how you bought it, but I bought it like, oh, this is like five bucks and looks goofy as hell. So let me buy this. And like, it is goofy as hell and over the top. Yeah. I, I put a game to play for a friend sitting next to you. And oh, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think I bought it when it came out on like full price. Oh yeah, well yeah. I, I went to EB Games and I was like, "Oh, this is like this seems like a cool game. I'll play this. Like yeah, I think forty I bucks." Too. Apparently, it's worth an, an okay amount, at least if you didn't play it. Yeah, I think I, I think I brought it back to EB to like uh, to like trade it in. I was like, "Yeah, we can give you like a dollar for it." I like, I've had it for two days. <laughs> yeah, we can give you like a dollar for it. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we'll we'll let you pay us to put it back. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. We actually, Nevada and I picked up, uh, well, she picked up the new Ace Attorney game that came out uh, on Tuesday. How is it? Uh, she she loves Ace Attorney games. So uh, she's only in, she's finished the first case so far. Uh, she's probably into the second case. Uh, and I think it sounds like she likes it. Um, I also picked, I picked up, or we, together we picked up um, uh, Neo, The World Ends With You. Uh, so I'm waiting for her to finish on the switch so I can take over and play and play that. Oh, you know, it would be fun. Cause you know what I really enjoy? I like the Ace Attorney like mm. memes that people are doing, you know, mm -hmm. with the like objection. Like, it's like the, the, the chat conversation, but it's made into the like Ace Attorney stuff. Have you seen any of that? Uh, you know that? I think, I think, I think I get your button down. Yeah. Yeah. We should do one of our like bonkers episodes where we do like memes and silliness and just do um 
whatever characters we're doing for it, we do them, but in the like Ace Attorney characters, like how we do the memes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you, yeah. I think that'd be fun, yeah. Maybe a lot of fun. Yeah. I think it uh, would be a challenge, but very fun. Yeah. Uh, Vin Miss is asking, is this edible? And it is. It's just a, it's just a pancake. Yeah, it's just Krusty's pancake batter. Just add water. Yeah, make some meme cakes. Yeah. I every, I mean, not, not today because Ashley went up with uh, Miles this morning to Tucson to prepare for his big birthday party. Your boy, my boy. Ooh. Um, but so he's he's turning he, two, right, or three? Yeah, two. Two. Okay. How does Hank feel about uh, him being your new manager? <laughs> how the, how the two-year-old's taking the job? <laughs> uh, I've given him some courses, and he seems like he's able to put that gauntlet down like I have. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good to hear. <laughs> like, also, man, like, outside of just pancakes, like apple juice. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Devil's Bass is... Uh, Newsletter codes of the weekly sent through the mail, right? Because they just started playing today. Uh, yeah, they get sent through the sent through the mail. So if you make sure you sign up for the newsletter before noon, uh, before noon Pacific time, uh, and you'll it should you'll be on the list, and you'll probably be the end of the list. So it'll probably be a little bit later on today. Uh, you'll get the code, but they get sent out on Fridays at noon. So as long as you're signed up before then. Uh, Emily Belly, I'm Ace Attorney from Mystery Ben's Mystery Skulls AMV. Ah, uh, the Mystery Skulls songs are great. Um, Objection. Yeah, yeah and that. <laughs> uh, Sam Regal does the voice for. Um, I think it's for Phoenix. It's for Fe it's yeah. Phoenix or yeah, Apollo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In what though? Just in that game? Uh, no, in, in um, no, in, in number five and six, I think. <laughs> yeah i think i've only i've i think i've only really played the first two i had i would have had a ds phase i'm sure yeah my parents called it a ds phase <laughs> <laughs> everybody has like a handheld yes. phase i uh i'm in my handheld phase right now uh my switch is like my favorite system yeah I'm actually, I uh, I put it, I put in um, a deposit for the, the Steam Deck, so I'm gonna pick up one of those. Oh, that does. Oh, yeah, that looks. Yeah, I mean, they seem cool. So, and are you someone who buys like, oh, this is on sale on Steam and just? Uh, I am I am trying hard to not be like that because that's a lot of money. Yeah, there's a friend that literally like over a summer will be like, I just bought like 40 games and I played. Two. Yeah. <laughs> In yeah, I bought 40 games and I'm going back to play CSGO. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Gothlaz is asking, if the chest auto-loads into your account, can that code later be used if you start another account on a platform? Uh, yeah, so some platforms, I think it's just console and mobile, will automatically add in the, the chest for you. Um, but when it, when, if you have that happen, it'll just say, reload your game for a chest. It, you won't get a code in your email at that point. It just kind of alerts you to like, reload your game and you'll have it. Oh hey Siobhan, Rakan, how's it going? Thank you. Hey Siobhan. Thanks for thanks for making me feel better. Ben. I'm gonna take my dog to the vet today. Oh no. Check up uh, or just something bad? Huh? Oh. Um just she she's got the diabetes, you know. Oh. So sort of like, hey, her nose is really dry and this and that. Is that all the medication stuff? What's going on? Please Tell me how two thousand dollars will get me that answer. Yeah. Or how it's a paywall again. Everything's a paywall. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, okay. dogs. Are, dogs. Are, dogs are paid to live, right? So. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh uh, uh, yeah, Nevi brought up that Sam dresses Phoenix in the CR Halloween episode where they all they all dressed as like a, a character they voiced. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Siobhan's asking if we've talked about weekend buffs. Uh, we definitely have, but I'll do it again. Uh, just for you. Uh, so this is a natural performer weekend. So this weekend we're buffing, uh, Freely's Unlucky for Them, 
uh, Calliope's Bardic Inspiration, Jolaxel's Master of Piracy and Master of Disguise, Deacon's Story of Doom and Confidence in the Boss, uh, gotta get that speed, and Birdsong's Song of Battle. Uh, and the sweetener for this week for the GE is Freely Slot 2. That's how I know Sam Regal. Yeah. He did Yu-Gi-Oh voices. I was huge in Yu-Gi-Oh. Rex Raptor? Oh, he did Rex Raptor? Oh, no way. Yeah. A legend. The most important thing about Yu-Gi-Oh to me is just that anytime I hear the name Yu-Gi-Oh, I have to give the my sister. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my uh, sister. <laughs> uh, Mad Jester is asking, can you combine a PC and mobile game? I play on mobile for a while, and I don't want to have to pay for my add-ons again. Uh, no, we don't have any sort of account linking or account or uh, platform swapping for Isle Champions. Uh, so if you, if you started on mobile, you are stuck on mobile unless you create a brand new account and start all over again uh, on a different platform. But we will continue to give out so many chests. <laughs> yeah, we'll continue to give out tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, I've looked at like wanting to play Yu-Gi-Oh again recently, and the format has changed. Oh yeah, I can't. Yeah, I it's it's my... it's wild. <laughs> have you seen the game that's coming out? Yeah, the game looks cool. Uh, which, also... No. What? Sean, come on. Are you not a Yu-Gi-Oh boy? He is a Yu-Gi-Oh boy. That's why. <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, oh, Master Duel? All right, I'm going to put this pan shake. Pan shake? Uh, Devil's Pack. Oh, it's not, it's not cross-platform? It's not, no. So you're... There's a... <laughs> cross-platform is very, very difficult. <laughs> uh, because it's a lot of... Well, you're tied into, like, the actual platforms. And this one's Havilar. You can tell by the ponytail. The strawberries. And the strawberries, yeah. And, and the bow on the head. <laughs> yeah, and the little bow is great. Yeah. But yeah, on a Yu-Gi-Oh note, I have a lot of the old deck cards. And I don't know if you know who Gary V is, but he's like, hang on to those. It's going to be like magic cards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I've, seen Gary, I've seen Gary V on TikTok a bunch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The he's, guy, he's like, right, I go to... Uh, what, he just goes to like, garage sales. And you'll be rich. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no, well, you you got to tell them the story about the anime St. Louis you guys did, where the guy came in to record stuff, and it was like two years ago. What do you The voice of Seto Saiba. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, Hank's yeah. got Eric a cool Stewart. story. Eric Stewart. Yeah. Tell the story. You know who Eric Stewart is, Sean? Eric Stewart. Uh, the name does not ring a bell, but I'm googling him right now. Uh, he plays Brock, Seto Kaiba, James. <laughs> so, like, okay. in St. Louis, there's a thing called Anime St. Louis, and uh, we know the guy who runs the con, and, like, he'll do promotions to promote the con if it's coming up in a couple months. And Eric Stewart came in, because he was going to be at the con. He came in to do, like, a little event at the local science center, like, oh, come and meet Eric Stewart and, you know, buy your tickets to the con. So he came in, and... The guy, Jeremy, who runs Anime St. Louis, was with him, and he, he, he texts me. He's like, hey, he, this guy needs a uh, – Eric Stewart, you know who he is? I'm like, eh, let me Google it. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Brock, my childhood. Yes. Yeah. I know. He's Brock and James. And he's like, mm -hmm. well, he's a voice actor still, and, like, he does promos, and he needs, like, a quiet place with good microphones to, to record some stuff. And I thought of you guys because we had, like, a podcast set up. And I was like, uh, yeah. So, like, the Dan K studio is in a detached building in my backyard. So, Eric Stewart comes to my house. Oh, that's cool. And goes in there. He does, like, voiceover work for TV, like, a, a version of TBS in, like, India. So, he's, like, he's, like, saying, like, Big Bang Theory coming on next. You know, he's saying all this stuff, like, repetitively. <laughs> he's doing this, like, foreign voiceover work. And uh, he ends and he, and, you know, he's like, I really appreciate you letting me use this. And, is there anything I can do for you guys? Like, I can do the voiceover, and I'm like, uh, yeah, could you, like, say some stuff about Dan Cakes in the character's voice? So he did, like, hi, this is Brock from Pokemon, and if you like art, you can eat. Go to Dan Cakes Duck. And, like, he did all these voices, and James, and, and Seto Kaiba, and... <laughs> it that was is so cool. Surreal. That's super cool, yeah. Stella, and he, like, sent me the audio clips, and I was like, dude! So we, we, we were... This is, like, right before the pandemic. We were like, oh, we need to, because uh, he was going to come back. I, I don't know if he did come back, because I think they might have canceled. But, like, we were like, oh, we need to make pancakes of them and, like, somehow make them talk in stop motion with the voice, like the characters. 
It was one of those like, oh, that just happened after he left. Like, oh, yeah, that's just someone I used to listen to every Saturday morning. Talk. Yeah. Was the goofiest character. Yeah. This uh, is I like... didn't realize he was also in, in uh, the Ultimate Muscle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's done a lot of stuff. Yeah. He, like, the funny thing is, like, this dude obviously is known for voiceover work, and I'm a huge mu uh, music buff. So, like, he started mentioning, like, he gave me a CD. He's in a band. He's like, oh, yeah, I play with the Ringo Starr and stuff like that. And I started talking about music, and he got really relaxed because I know his day-to-day -day is just talking about Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh. And when I was like, oh, let me hear more about who you played with, and he was like, whoa, hang on. <laughs> you want to actually talk about the music I've done? Yeah, it was <laughs> so Eric Stewart like, Band, where he's here with Frampton, Ringo Starr, Leonard Skinner, yeah, Jethro yeah. Tull, Hall & Oates, Chicago. Yeah, woo! Yeah, he's done a lot of stuff with these artists. I was asking him about them. It was, he, like, really opened up when I was like, let me hear about the music. Yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon are cool, but... <laughs> next time I meet a celebrity, I'm going to be like, tell me about what you cooked for dinner last week. Or, like, yeah. oh. Tell me your breakfast habits. <laughs> uh, that that kind of, like, what is happening here? Yeah. Um, is uh, we did an event. It was me, Hank, and Jenny. Or Anaheim Art. Yeah, were you, you were there, right? I was there, the, yeah. The Emmy thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we did this thing for the Emmys, not the actual, like, the Emmys, but the, the same, like, organization, mm -hmm. I guess, for mm -hmm. something that they were doing. And uh, one of the people that was, like, running the whole thing was uh, Phil Lamar. Oh. Yeah, and, like, at the, very, at the very end... Jack Green Lantern, so many things. Um, he came and got a, I, I made a, I got to make a pancake for him, and just it was at the very end of the event, so there wasn't people coming up, there wasn't like, oh yeah, I gotta do a bunch of things. So I just chopped it up with Phil Lamar, who's one of the nicest people oh, ever, yeah, <laughs> and and this guy is like asking me about what I do, and I'm like, stop. Yeah, I got like, a video of it. I'm like, come on, man, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not like you, Phil Lamar. You can't. Don't. <laughs> right. And the funny thing is, he's known now for a lot of voiceover work. When I was talking to him, like I remember you in the beginning of Pulp, of Pulp Fiction, and he's like, "Yeah." He's like right in the beginning scene where they're in their apartment. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so man, TV I'm kind too. of an un yeah, I, and I knew it from that. But like, if you knew me during the time that Justice League was on uh, Cartoon Network. That was like that is still he's like oh what are your favorite TV shows of all time, Justice League is in there, um so I was like GL, <laughs> <laughs> yeah Pancake Art has had us do some weird stuff that often has us like our the kind of like what even is life like what's going yeah, on I met I met a former president because. Of being I met Jimmy Carter randomly at a NFL game he were working. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Gothas is asking for the mobile version. Any chance of adding a zoom in feature for dialog boxes? We don't have to struggle to read two point font or screen shot to zoom to read. Uh, it's probably something we could do. Yeah, the the mobile UI is very very tough. Uh, because every phone is a different size with a different resolution. So trying to like kind of match them all is very hard. Uh, for a game that was made on Steam, made for Steam, uh, ported to, uh, to tablets, uh, specifically a tab uh, tablets, and then phones ended up becoming uh, so strong and like kind of big enough that they're classified themselves as tablets which made it available for the more the, kind of the broader mobile market. So I can say mobile, mobile market. Yeah. Vitamins. The vitamins. <laughs> Check my schedule. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. well, okay. Any, any plan? So besides uh, the birthday party, any other plans? Uh, well, Hank's birthday is exactly a week after Miles's. Is, is, is. Oh. Uh, so, um, so on Monday, we're gonna go uh, to Whole Foods and get a uh, 
big old tomahawk steak and, and, and grill Wait, it. Wait, I thought you said you bought me a ticket to go to space with Bezos. Like, I know it was price. <laughs> I thought that was my birthday gift, Lee. I was going to be able to go to space for 30 minutes. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I thought I was be able to go to space for 30 minutes. And, uh, <laughs> Bezos! I mean, Whole Foods, yeah. same thing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Both oh, Amazon maybe. owned, yeah. I said we're paying for his play. Now, but Lee is going to cook me this great steak dinner. Ooh, I'm excited. That sounds good. Well, I'm going to cook him a steak dinner. I made no promises about greatness. <laughs> uh, Lucky Princess is saying, more jukebox music, please. It's so good. Yeah, J uh, Jason Charles Miller is a genius. Uh, and check out Tuesday's Bark some inspiration for more music that we create on the fly. How come ours is like the <laughs> only show that doesn't have like the Bardic inspiration going on in the background? I don't know because right. usually like, like, people have it with the game open usually, and I don't have the game open. And it's I don't uh, I guess I could put like the instrumental music on here. Do I have it on this computer? Hold on, let me. <laughs> I, I, let me see if I can change it on the fly. Let's let's see. What we're uh, Siobhan Rakan, um, here's the thing. For the ASMR uh, show. <laughs> Miles found a the secret to time travel. Uh oh, gone. What? Oh oh no. Sorry, there it goes. I think I minimized Zoom by accident and I made a tiny thing. All right, we're back. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Don't make these people have flashbacks to last week. Yeah. Uh, we unfortunately had a few times where I just decided to drop off. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry. Uh, actually, I don't think. Oh, wait. So this is a uh, flock of seagulls. Bailoff. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, the music we are playing isn't even from uh, Idol Champions 2. That's true. Uh, I think it's from Shards of Titan, which was one of our one of our older games. <laughs> Someone cast darkness. Uh, I don't think I have it right here. Uh, oh, actually, uh, Bardic Inspiration. There it is. Why hasn't there been an Ode to Pancakes Bardic Inspiration episode yet? That's what I'm saying, man. Yeah, you're asking the wrong people. Yeah. This is a Bardic Inspiration check question. Yeah. Uh, what uh, what instrumental are we looking at today? We want, uh, Mert, you can be my Dragon Queen, Viper, Viper's Fangs, Savage Fire, Deacon. I'm a good, I love Deacon's Tales, one of my favorite songs. Yeah. Uh, Brimstone Angels, Drop of Time. You guys have a preference for instrumental? You guys want to hear? Uh, it has more love towards uh, Havilar. You can do Brimstone Angel. That's true. <laughs> Bunny Beast, all of them. Yeah. No, that's good. That's a good preference. Yeah. Uh, Herc works at Drop of Time. Uh, but who are the Brimstone? The Brimstone Angels are uh, Havilar and uh, Frida. Actually, they're from Aaron M. Aaron M. Evans uh, books. Uh, Star Trek's uh, real life's calling. Gotta go. Oh, real life sucks. Uh, <laughs> have a great Friday and awesome weekend, everyone. Uh, bye, Chester Chaser. Thanks for coming to hang out. Always an absolute pleasure to have you in. Yeah. Hank says bye. <laughs> Hank's waving. You don't see it. Uh, all right. Let me see if I can. Where, okay, where is? Let's, uh... We'll pause that. Uh, where is media file? Oh, I can just drag and drop, I think. Yeah. Nope, I can't. Okay. Oh, you're saying drag and drop. I was like, oh, I like this drag and drop. I'm like, whoa. This drag and drop. Whoa. Oh. Sorry, folks. That was really loud. Uh, <laughs> that... <laughs> Was much louder than I thought it would be. I'm so sorry. 
okay, so at least you're answering the question, why don't we do that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't think it would come on full blast like that. Rip headphone users. I am so sorry. <laughs> I I paused, I like muted the entire stream like right away the moment I heard it so uh okay uh I think we're good all right here we go there we go okay Whew. all right it scared me too I'm so sorry yeah I'm awake now <laughs> I didn't think it would like pop up like that oh. I did. I just kept my mouth shut to. Watch yeah, the volume. All right, there we go. That's 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 it's a good it's a good it's a good good volume now. It's like just in the background. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, it's awful by default. Yeah, I didn't think it would fill it like that. So. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah, and we'll we'll. We'll add in a different sound next week. We'll, we'll 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 shuffle through. We'll shuffle through. The try to drop in with blaring music. Uh, the bard one, the bardic ones do. So yes. <laughs> the audio version of being in the shower when someone flushes. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh man. <laughs> so my uh, my art for this week was a rare. Five drop. Yeah, I think we usually do six, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, planning for the fact that I might have 15 minutes or more, mm -hmm. I have decided that I'm going to do a red panda skin for me. For you? Yeah. I'm excited. But I'm gonna make it up as I go. I haven't really drawn it out or anything. It's yeah. Like... We're going off the script here, folks. <laughs> yes, our very tight script. Yeah. <laughs> I want, I want these songs on Rock Band. <laughs> That's what I want. I want like I want all the Rims and Angels and all the I want the whole Bardic Inspiration soundtrack on Rock Band. Were you a rock band guy? I was a big rock band. Oh, I'm, I was a huge rock band kid. I, I was expert on everything. Yeah, I. Uh, I downloaded all the songs now. I feel like uh, I spent probably yeah. a thousand. Yeah, I definitely spent a couple hundred bucks on a uh, on, on rock band growing up on the 360. Um, I was expert on everything, but except for singing. But I would use I used to play and sing. Oh, oh nice, nice. The yeah, uh, <laughs> drums. Drums was drums was my was my main one. I was I was really good at. Out of my friend group, there was like one or two. I think we were like we were all the three of us who were at the top were kind of like all really tied. Uh, but yeah, I, I've I've broken so many foot pedals, gone through so many. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I had to like tape things and get like. I was I was actually I don't want to like toot my own horn, but I was really good at the wireless tambourine. Oh, oh yeah, yeah um, that's that's it. I was an important part of the game, man. Big shaker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, so I would go to the party, right? And be like, oh, Lee's here, finally. And I got to say, it's kind of cool that they made the instrument, like, not branded. So it's like you felt like you were a real artist, you know? Like, <laughs> yeah. it's no glitz and glamour. It doesn't even look like there's any electronics on it at all. But, yeah. like, it was cool. They're like, all right, you take this. This is the most important instrument. And I need you to stand over there. So I was, like, five feet away from the, like, group. And that's cool. Because I don't think that they wanted to be that close to my shine. It would blind them. It would be hard. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, and I was pretty good. <laughs> it was I, weird when they're like, okay, sorry, Lee, this one doesn't have him. We'll get to that one. <laughs> yeah. And it was like, <laughs> the next song will have it. <laughs> the weird thing is I probably did so good that the game couldn't even, like, process what my score was. Like, it never showed up. Like, <laughs> drums, perfect. Guitar, excellent singing, and I'm all yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let me get that tambo. Yeah, have you seen the have you seen the cost for like the rock band like drum sets and stuff nowadays? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's like two to four hundred dollars now. Like, I actually had like a, I still have a lot of stuff. So I was like had a crisis of like should I sell this or try to coast my friends that played with me ten years ago to play again. 
Because I still yeah. have all the songs on Xbox 360 sitting somewhere. Yeah, we actually um we we do uh rock, we did some rock band streams for Extra Life. Uh, it was last year, and I brought my my hard drive that had a bunch of songs on it. Uh, and then uh, David, one of the, one of the founders, went like, kind of went all out, and we picked up a bunch of like, guitars and stuff. And he I got he got one of those um I don't remember what they're what they're called. It was like the, kind of like the more enhanced drum kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Three symbols, I have that, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, except this one only came with two out of three symbols, so you couldn't do like Expert Pro or whatever. But I, I'd always wanted one like the kind of like the 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 better drum kits. So I remember That's sitting what... at it and being like, "Oh, this is what I missed." <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Well, let's go. Uh oh. Oh, if I saw a rip, no, we're good. Bailoff, the red panda. That one is awesome. I love the staff. Dude. Yeah. Thank you. The jackets, the jacket, and the um. Ah, what are they called? Oh my god, I should know this. Uh, yeah, the, I don't want to be a. <laughs> yeah, ah. It's like the word is there. A cravat, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Slytherin. Yeah, a cravat. A cravat? Yeah. I didn't even know that. You've cravat to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah. Did you get it? Uh, yeah. Because it's a cravat? Right. But like yeah, I we get it. We get it, Lee. Move on. <laughs> I just I feel like you'd be laughing more if you got it, Sean. So I'll you got you. I'll DM you. This be happy trip. you got a chuckle. That's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I I got there was a point like when I, when I lived with, with a bunch of my friends, we all we did was play rock band. Like we come home from work, play rock band, go to bed, get up, go to work, come back, play rock band, go to bed. <laughs> Yeah. I'm I'm saying, that was my life. Yeah. yeah. I had the fog going. machine and the light machine. It was an accessory by Mad Cat. What? You plugged it into the USB, and it, in most of the songs interacted. Like the lights would change during solo. Oh no way! My and it was in my like my twelve by twelve room with this fog machine, and you could not see the TV. <laughs> no way. And, and then the lasers were cool because it was like pointy laser pointers, so it would be. I remember my mom walked in. Like why? Why does it look like your room's on fire? And she didn't know I had it because I just bought it. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then she she kind of just did that, open the door, like oh, and then back out slowly. Like, what mom? Just <laughs> sitting in the guitar, like mom, go away! I'm jamming. <laughs> yeah, I'm jamming in here. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, what drugs are you? Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll talk when you're done. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know which one. Yeah. I remember like the. The only time I ever, I think the first time I, I broke like we got like the million point score because my me and my friends we all couldn't do it together for some reason. Uh, cause we never had we never had like, the full expert band. Um, right. Yeah. I had the same yeah. Thing. So I remember the one and only time I ever played online, uh, we played uh, I played almost easy with Event Sevenfolds, uh, with right. a full expert band, and we all like ninety nine hundred percent of it. I think I missed like I remember missing like two or three notes and being like I'm so mad I missed. Like, it was like the best I'd ever played, and we all like hit the million, got the gold, and I was like, "Oh my god, I did it!" It's <laughs> a great feeling. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I used to make uh, when new songs would come out. I used to make YouTube videos of like playthrough of the song, like ninety nine percent or a hundred percent, depending on the song. Oh and, yeah. Like did pretty like I would get a couple thousand views on them, and I was like making these videos. I had a camera on me and a camera. You know, screen capturing the TV. I was like, yo, I'm in the world of rock band. Yeah. Oh man, I, I used that's all I used to watch on YouTube was like rock band videos. Uh huh. Um, the, the ones I watched, the remember watching the most was uh, I Bite Pretty Hard. Yeah. Uh, and there was like some kid named Kyle who was like really good. I don't remember, I don't remember what his what his uh what his channel was though, but I know Kyles are usually really good or really bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It depends how much monster they've drank, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's pretty, like in the in my my older years now, the when I watch rock and I look away, the the world just like grows a little bit now because the way the the track goes, my brain just goes like, "Nope, worth you saw that now. It keeps going to keep going wherever you look." And it's like, "Oh god, I can't I can't play anymore." I would have you know, you play late at night and go right to bed, and you're just dreaming of that scroll. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I guess not the healthiest thing. 
a good time. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I love Rock Band. You know, always, I, I was never a guitar hero. I like always would play guitar and feel like, ah, there's, here's a better way to do this. Yeah. Guitar, I just, I guess, like, uh, Rock Band has looked a lot cleaner to me than Rock than Guitar Hero did. I, I have mad respect for Rock Band, for Guitar Hero for being the first one out to do it. I think, uh, right, being no, the, the kind of the big one, kind of kind of starting the, the kind of that kind of wave. Uh, but I think Rock Band kind of hit the better notes. Right. And the Guitar oh, Hero, the Guitar Hero drum set sucked. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I, the thing I like about this is you get three of your friends and you're playing a cooperative game in a new world. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think a lot of uh, other companies tried to go like too far with it, like like I guess kind of like Rocksmith and stuff, where it's like, oh, now you can like learn how to play oh, guitar. It's like it's like oh, I just I don't really care about learning to play guitar. I'm like having fun with this game. Well, I was in a band, so Rocksmith actually was. Oh, uh, okay. But yeah. the thing is, you're limited. Like, okay, oh, here's these sixty songs, and but and the latency was weird. I remember remember Donkey Konga. Oh yeah. <laughs> That was one of those music. I don't. Remember, it might have been right at the same time Guitar Hero came out, but that was such a clunky game. <laughs> <laughs> and then you go. There's a, a, a store called V Stock, which is like a big used video game store in the states. And and go in there. They have like a stack of twenty of those clunkers. <laughs> Did you ever see the video of somebody beating uh, the Dark Souls with the Donkey Konga? Yeah, yeah, I saw that. That was. Yeah. I feel like is that real? I mean, people yeah, have people have like set up like bananas and electrodes in them, like a DDR mat. Like people beat Dark Souls with anything imaginable. I saw a video of a guy playing Tony Hawk Pro Skater with the Guitar Hero guitar. Oh, that's cool! Like, like, let me get a million point trick combo. Yeah, I mean, those oh, those were easy back in the day, though. Right, I was a skate dude. I loved skating. Oh yeah, I I played a bot so much Tony Hawk growing up. He's go to a friend's place. We did. We we play horse, and our like, okay. Well, I got this fifty-five million point combo, so you beat that now. <laughs> On the moon is Spider-Man, so now you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's just like you, every every flip into every manual combo into every grind combo you can do. You're just spamming everything just to get like the uh, the bonus up and. Ugh. Yeah, just it's like, manual into everything. And... Yeah. It's like all right. Well, I spent half an hour on my on my trick. Now it's your turn. It was cool seeing uh, skateboarding at the Olympics. So I, that's like one of the few things I've watched of the Olympics because you know I'm like, oh wait, the Olympics is on. Yeah, that, that is pretty cool. Which I, I actually I, I agree with you. Skateboarding's like it's so difficult. Uh, so right. well, it, the thing is, they're mad athletes. Like they're great athletes, but it's kind of inconsistent. Like they'd have great, like they were doing like a rail grind and doing like flips into the rail, and like the best skaters in the world were like falling down a lot yeah. and it's like it's so difficult the yeah consistency. yeah i mean i think the, the best skaters in the world are like that though like they they bail all the time still because it's it's so it's still so hard to right to and nail all these land. tricks yeah oh wow no like one i think someone did a trick no one had done yet and like it was the japanese skater he won i think both women's and men's the japanese skaters won and tony hoff was like Oh, this is a huge deal for Japan. Like, yeah. Put on, oh, wait, was the was the, the Japanese skater was, was he like a I guess at this point probably like a teenager or something? Uh, the I know the woman uh, uh, winner was like fourteen or something, and then like the guy was like nineteen, like he was with kind of the more fit. like I'm out of the skate world as far as who's famous now, but I know like Nigel Houston, Houston, which is the American one. Uh, it's okay. just funny when they're like. Hey, let's talk about skateboarding. Uh, we're all like fifty-year-old news anchors from NBC. Let's bring in Tony Hawk, who's off the fifty. But hey, he's our point of reference. Yeah. And he's kind of just like, hey. <laughs> yeah, I think I think there's a kid now who's actually hit the the ten eighty. Oh yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, which means Tony Hawk's career is over. <laughs> right. Yeah. He will never make any money again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tom Shar <laughs> hits the world's first uh, ten eighty, but that was back yes. in like twenty twelve though, actually. So. I think so, yeah. I think a younger was he like twelve? He was like a twelve year old. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he was. He was. I remember being pretty young when I saw it. So. I feel like you got to be twelve to do something that like. <laughs> yeah. My bones will grow back in in two weeks. Oh, he did it in a, in a competition and right in front of Tony Hawk. Nine hundred boomer. <laughs> it's ten eighty. <1080. laughs> <laughs> 
just Tony Hawk's just like, all right, and just gives him like his bank account. Yeah, you can take my house, my wife, my kids. <laughs> I guarantee you, Tony Hawk celebrated that kid more than. Oh, he, oh yeah. Instagram about it. Yeah. Uh, Lee is doing right now an artist rendition of himself as a red panda. I'm excited for this one. Yeah. You gotta hurry up though, it's 12. I know that people. Um... Is it Time Gate weekend or what's up? Uh, no, it's, it's an event weekend still, so. It's all about running those Elliwick chests. I don't know what Lee is drawing, but I look forward to it coming to the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I decided, like, if I'm not going to be put into the game, I'm going to force the hand. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I didn't, I had a little bit of time, and I was like, I want to, what would a pancake warlock maybe look like? Uh, the 12-year-old kid was X Games last month, but I don't doubt someone else at the before. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. He's pretty recent. Yeah. I, I, I don't think he was the first one to do it, but he was also like, oh, I think even when probably the, year, uh, it's probably the youngest person to do it. Like, I, I can't imagine at twelve being able to pull off something like that. Like, the dedication to that, like at twelve years old, is is huge. In the middle of playing Fortnite, he gets on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Does tenities in Fortnite to do tenities on the skateboard? Like, come on. <laughs> He's like, have you seen my KD on Fortnite? I can do a 1080. Just a 1080 in Fredo Town. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Fortnite was never a game I could get into. The whole Battle Royale genre, I just, I never... We just had this conversation. Like, yeah, well, I ain't gonna get down on the Battle Royale. But, yeah, Fortnite's just like... Yeah. Well, with running a business, uh, my video game mentality has shifted so much where it's like I need like almost like warrior wear type games like I need to do like 20 minutes and like you go through the whole thing here's this uh you know drop into a match play the match and if I need to stop there I can stop there yeah like the last full length game I played was Resident Evil Village which I love and that's only like a 10 hour game yeah I, I watched the last play for that because I don't like scary games so oh, okay <laughs> that's something I play with uh my partner and and she just loves. She she can't. She doesn't play video games. She's not good at it. Like the last was. She once it got to two sticks, she was playing GameCube and they didn't really incorporate. Yep. It. Yeah. She just couldn't play anymore and hasn't played. But she ah. loves watching me play horror games. <laughs> and cool. like I'm really bad at like ruining the suspense, which she loves the suspense. I'll joke too much. About it. <laughs> like, okay, is this doll really alive? But like, it's because secretly you're scared and you think that the jokes will help me get through this. Right, yeah. I hope this is cool. How much do I owe you for this session? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I find I'm at the I've hit the point where like by the time I get off of work, go home, make dinner, do whatever chore I need to do, and then go upstairs, like go on my on my computer, like play something. I'll just like sit there and stare at Steam for like twenty minutes. I'll watch a YouTube video, then I'll just go to bed. <laughs> like, like, I, yeah. like I don't know what I want to play. Like I just That's the same. Like, yeah. what do you watch? Let's let me do my six streaming services. All right, what's yeah? Oh, what's my uh, subscriptions on YouTube? Have out. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah, my I've been I've been big into watching uh, the Command Zone uh, on YouTube right now. It's just a bunch of guys playing Commander. Uh, just, uh, oh, because okay. because of the whole like I've Forgotten Realms magic, I've gotten a bit more back into magic a bit. So right. watching people wasn't, play Commander is a lot. It's, they, they they edit it really well. So wasn't uh, Michael Sinclair on there? Like last week or the week before? Uh, they they did a um a Forgotten Realms one, uh with Amy Vorpal and someone else. I don't remember who that was. So a friend of mine, like super into Commander, and I have cards and I, I have Commander decks, but he actually is a judge at tournaments in the Midwest. Ooh. So I hate playing him. <laughs> because even like. Like half your deck is non regulation. I'm just like, right. We're playing for fun here. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, this is supposed to be fun. Yeah, let him know that me and my brother used to play with proxy decks. <laughs> and at one time I was playing, I had my life counter, you know, and, and I went to, like, he was in the middle of it. I was just like, all right, taking life down. Because I was doing it before he told it. And he just 
put his hand on mine. He's like, you're not going to need to flip anything. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> like, cool. It was like the third turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you get the right, like, mm -hmm. there's some cards in there that I'm like, is that regulation? <laughs> yeah, Magic has some pretty nasty combos. Like, it's like two, it's like turn three death kind of thing. Right. It's kind of like chess in a way. Like, oh, let me see if I can check Maiden's returns. The Xanathar yeah. card seems a little bit uh, broken. Yeah, Xanathar is good. Uh, I built a Delina deck that's pretty fun. You just spawn okay. a bunch of copies of Delina and then kill them in one hit. I love populate decks. Yeah. All right. Ready to see. All right. Lee, Lee, this is Lee Goldberg as Red Panda. Red, three. Red Panda, oh. Chef Lee. Yeah. Three, two, one. What's up? Hey! Is that a bionic arm? Yeah, I made like a. Wait, a, you have no pants. A metal gauntlet. <laughs> yeah. Just like when I just like when I started. Right up. Yeah, I wanted to make it true to the uh, to the show. <laughs> um, All right, well. <laughs> God damn it! I'm wearing dude. pants. <laughs> I hope so. Hank's right there. <laughs> the chef knife thing is like its own like cool gauntlet. That's cool. Warlock abilities. Get All right. I'm just kidding. All right, that's it. We're done. All right, guys. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I'm sorry for blowing your eardrums with that uh, with that change uh, to music, but I, I, I have figured it out for next time, so don't worry. Uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging out and uh, playing Idle Champions and Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, you guys rock. We love you. I'm so I'm so glad to be back. I miss I miss doing the stream and hanging out with you guys on um, yeah. Friday morning and with you. And thank you, Hank, for coming to stop by and hanging out. And thanks everybody. Ton tons of fun. Um, this show exists because of a number of amazing people behind the scenes, including our co producer, Sasha! Sasha! <laughs> uh, as well as our partners at Dungeons and Dragons, uh, Greg, Bart, Pelham, Allison, Charlie, and Lisa. Uh, don't forget 1 p.m. for Gar War's Guide to Everything, and no, he is not a fish. Um, <laughs> so we will uh, see you then. Until next week, bye guys! Thanks for coming bye. by. Ooh, bye!